Let's talk about eelgrass. As many of you know, eelgrass is often called the canary in the coal mine because its health is often a barometer for anthropogenic pollution. <clears throat> like other habitats, eelgrass also provides some valuable functions, settling the sediment, providing habitat for fish and invertebrates, primary production, carbon storage, etc. This graph shows data for the Great Bay Estuary, and you see a significant decline in eelgrass. Keep in mind, considering this trend, that the data set begins at a point when eelgrass reached its modern peak. As we discussed earlier, there's a decrease in eelgrass, but there's also this notable decrease in the ability of eelgrass to bounce back from bad years. Looking at just Great Bay, the trend approaches significance but doesn't quite get there because of wasting disease events in 1988 and 1989. But this shows you how the system was able to recover. What changed? Why this new inability to get back up to these high values? From PrEP's perspective, that question remains unanswered. But what is perhaps more important, what factors can we actually do something about? This map shows eelgrass in 2016 versus 1996. And again, 1996 is only used because it's a reference for what we know the system has sustained in the last few decades. It's the best of the best. The dark green areas here show you what there was in 1996. And most of that dark green habitat has been lost now. 